Y'all forgive her. Danny Lay apologizes for Yellowbone song. To give to to even speak on skin tone, I realize how I messed up that that is now. I'm super sorry. You don't gotta apologize because everybody else do it in other ways. So that shit really don't matter. They just mad because you rich and you got a platform. If you was regular and made that song, it shit wouldn't matter. It's because you famous and you out there, you up there. If Mulatto or fucking, what's the other one that? Rainy Rucci would have made that same song, it wouldn't have been no fucking problem, bro. It's because you Spanish. So just keep that in mind. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, you know, as light as you is, you feel me? You probably got some motherfuckers in your family black than a motherfucker. So, yeah. And then this lady said, Danny Lay responds to claims that she stated she doesn't consider herself black. Of course, she would say that sometimes in certain occasions, but you seen who she was with. She was with the baby, the baby, the baby. Stop playing. And that's the only reason she made that yellow bone song in the first place, because she was with somebody that's cocky and confident and just he don't give a fuck. So after being with somebody like that for a little while, she kind of took to who he is, you know what I'm saying? Period. And then she go apologizing again. She said, there's other women that was there. So I want to see what these other women got to say. Who else want to see what these other women got to say? If y'all can find that video, holla at me. We probably go try to search for that. But yeah, if we hear what these other women say and they say something different, then we don't know then. And it really don't matter at the end of the day. Afro Latina panel with Danny Lay several weeks before Yellowbone. And behind the scenes, while they were doing mic checks and everything, we were talking about the Afro Latin experience. And I don't know if she thought I was one of those I know Black Dominicans, but she was real candid with me. And she told me directly to my face, I don't consider myself Black, but I like Black music and Black men. And I wish Black women weren't so jealous about it. She said it to my face. Mm -hmm. and, and then we had a conversation where I said, sis, I need you to never say that in public. And I tried to tell her that she needed more education around the Afro-Latin experience. A couple of weeks later, that song comes out. I was like, oop, she didn't listen to me, right? So I know for a fact that Danny Lay does not consider herself black. If she's changing her story, I'm calling Cap because she said it to my face that she does not consider herself black, but she uses the N-word. Afro-Latina panel with Danny Lay several weeks before Yellow Bone and behind the scenes while they were doing mic checks and everything. You don't need surgery to lose weight. Medical weight loss belt replaces surgery. So y'all go buy that belt, man. Get that body right. Mountain Dew releases new Mountain Dew flavored, flaming hot flavored Mountain Dew. The official drink from hell. First of all, I don't want no drink from hell. Second of all, that shit probably nasty as fuck, honestly. But if you tried it, let me know how it tastes. And if it's good, I'll sponsor that shit. For real, for real. They got to give me like 10% of the royalties, though. 76's president Daryl Morey says Doc Rivers will return to Philly as head coach. That's a good decision because they honestly should have went way further than they did. I blame Embiid, and that's why he didn't win the fucking MVP, period. Because he ain't MVP ready yet, bro. And if y'all feel like he got robbed, y'all lame as hell, too. He did not deserve the MVP, so therefore he did not get the MVP. I'm glad he did not win this.